Born and raised in the countryside near a small town in Germany, my siblings and I have always been outdoors persons. We were lucky enough to have parents who gave us plenty of opportunities to expand our horizons, raising us in a way that didn't include all-inclusive hotel vacations, but trips to remote places including activities like camping, hiking, canoeing and of course fishing. Having spent most of our free time together as kids, a bond was tied between us brothers that has since proved hard to break. Since my oldest brother moved to northern Sweden 10 years ago to work in the dog sledding business, Swedish Lapland has been our family's main destination, winter and summer.
to get some grip with a sole like this on slicky stones. <laughs> but I guess the guys in the store guessed my shoe size a little wrong. <laughs> so I guess we have to adjust it in whatever way. So I guess we have to try what we can do with that one. Looks very professional <coughs> what you're doing there. How many souls do you have? You've already lost at least I, two. I think I lost already five yeah. on these very nice shoes from Vision. The model is called Vision Mako, supposed to be for professional fly fishing guides. Highly recommended. Highly recommended on to run around rocks and rough surface. <laughs> And I mean the, the boots always on, uh, only cost like 150 euros, so it's not so much. 
and the repairing kit is, goes only for 25 euros the pair, so it's actually quite oh, it's quite, quite, quite affordable. Yeah. And normally fly fishing guides earn a fortune in their job, so. So, perfect fit now. It is, I've done it millions of times before, to be honest. <laughs> well, maybe it's not a good reputation for my skills if I have to do it millions of times always, but with the same sole and the same boots. Result, how it's going to look on the tour. 
with my older brother having to work, it was up to us younger ones to take on the famous Rautas River, the river where we didn't get so much as a bite the year before. This year, however, things turned out quite differently. going on a three-day fly fishing tour up to a place in Sweden called Jereme and the famous Greek is called Pulsujoki I guess there's mainly grayling there but let's hope for some big trouts as well Chapman is a Spanish hand, for a guy <laughs> The biggest trout you've ever seen. But there is only grayling there. But you won't see it because you are not there when I catch it. Like always. <laughs> That's actually the first trip up there I ever did. So let's hope we get some good fishing there and the river is not too high. So we had some really rainy days the last, actually, two days ago. But now the weather is just actually too good to be true. All of us were excited for this unique trip, for it was to be the only one canoeing a river none of us had even seen before. However, heavy rain from the days before made canoeing impossible. Since giving up was not an option, we exchanged canoes for our feet and the river for a smaller one and made time worthwhile. So, very nice. Well, it's fun where you can have a mini, can I have a mini elk? <laughs> oh, that's very stuck with him here. For him, there's gar nichts. Guck.
im Wasser vor allem. The year before, our brother had taken us to one of his favorite places, a forest river deep in the Swedish wilderness, rarely visited by humans throughout the year. Since we'd had the best time possible, combined with great grayling fishing, all of us were very excited for this year's trip. Arriving at the scene, however, the mood was dimmed since the water was easily a meter higher than the year before and all our favorite fishing spots were neither recognizable nor reachable.
Since our youngest brother had left for home a few days before, it was up to me to join my older one on his first attempt fishing the Rogers this year, a decision I didn't end up regretting. People go fly fishing for all kinds of reasons. For most fly fishermen it's probably a combination of several aspects. For some it might be about getting out of the daily routine. Some might have the desire to feel one with nature, while for others it might be just for the sport. Well I walk upon the river like it's easier than land. Evil's in my pocket and your will is in my hand. Oh your will is in my hand. so still Love is so from what I've heard but my heart's learned to kill Oh, mine has learned to kill Oh, I said I could rise From the harness of our gold Here come the tears But like always I personally like to go fishing on my own once in a while. It gets me thinking about my existence, while enjoying the beauty of nature without any distractions. Most of the time though, I wish I could go fishing side by side with both my brothers. A wish only granted once a year. The main reason why all of us spend 11 months every year looking forward to these few days in the summer is family, since to me there is nothing better to look forward to than following my passions alongside my brothers.
Well, I walk upon the river like it's easier than land. Evil's in my pocket and your strength is in my hand. Strength is in my hand. Stand up on so still Love is so from what I've heard But my heart's learned to kill Oh, mine has learned to kill 